All right, still a lot to talk about with this storm system. I'm meteorologist Dave Hubby. This is Cambria on the coastline. And yeah, we got hammered by that combination of the heavier rain and the high winds. And that puts so much stress on the power poles and the trees out there. And as Mackenzie was just telling you, power outage is a big concern. Now we're going to deal with more rain in this forecast and a good shot of it tomorrow. But the wind component is not going to be as bad. It has been improving. So here you can see the showers which continue across northern San Luis Obispo County, up the Cuesta grade and between Cambria and Paso Robles along the 46. Now moving a little bit further to the south, we have more gaps in the coverage here. Santa Maria, not much going on right now. Lompoc, pretty quiet. But again, from say Carpinteria down into Ventura County, we still have some rain in Santa Barbara County and it's still adding up. Now this is the modeling here showing us this gap. It's not a perfect lull, but generally more off than on here. It's going to fill in in a big way when we get into Monday afternoon. This is showers, isolated thunderstorms, heavier rainfall rates again with that push. Now that's going to add up to more than an inch for some folks. And you can see as we get into Tuesday night, it's still going across the area as well. So how much additional rain could we see? You can see an inch to two across San Luis Obispo County and say an inch to four, five in the mountains of Santa Barbara County. And that's backed up by the Weather Prediction Center forecast lining up with our models rather nicely, I'd say. And how is it? Okay, this is the initial band that we dealt with today. Proximity of the low created all that wind. The low's tracking north, the front is tracking off to the east. But a secondary low spins up at the base of this trough that is still just off the coast. That's going to draw up more moisture. And that's one of the reasons we've got round two coming from this system. And beyond that, there's another little disturbance that rotates through this trough on Wednesday for a few more scattered showers. So when you start adding up the week in total, it's going to be a very wet week. And we have to still think about isolated thunderstorm opportunities tomorrow. And that's a problem because we're saturated. So flash flood warning until midnight tonight. These boxes in here, we were able to remove the Lompoc area from that concern. The aerial flood watch just means that flooding could happen essentially anywhere in that shaded green area. The aerial flood advisory means that there is minor flooding going on in low-lying and poor drainage areas, and that's in northern San Luis Obispo County. Coastal flooding possible all the way into tomorrow morning because of all that wave energy with a little tidal bulge and really that strong southerly push and surge is still happening. And we saw what that did to some boats today. Taking a look back at these observed winds, it was incredibly windy for hour after hour today. And the peaks were hard to believe. Slow in Cayuca, 70 plus, close to 80. Santa Margarita and Atascadero pretty much at 80. And it was everywhere. Gaviota, Refugio, we were in the 60 plus. Morro Bay, nearly 70 degrees for a gust today. We've dropped the advisories except for this one area, the wind warning in the Santa Barbara County Mountains at higher elevations to 4 a.m. So we still have moisture streaming into the area. That's our area of atmospheric river. Now again, this first low is up here, but there's cold, unstable air and all this is still going to interact in our area later on tomorrow. But we're in this little gap here. So it's not a perfect gap. There will be activity that rotates in there. But Weather Prediction Center did an amazing job identifying Santa Barbara County as that area where we've seen anywhere between 3 and 11 inches of rain already. 14 to 18 feet on the swells for the Central Coast, 8 to 12 for the Channel Advisory still out there. And for Southern California, still quite a bit of rainfall possible. My seven day community cast keeps temperatures in the 50s again on and off showers Tuesday and Wednesday, but still one more round later on Monday and that one should still have your attention because of all the rain on the ground back after this.